Hello and welcome to another episode of my vlog. This is Rishad De Cruz. Today I'm making a video on moving to Goa, all you need to know. The reason I did this is because over the last six months I've got a lot of inquiries from different people, particularly the demographic from, is from young entrepreneurs who are leaving uh, their lives in Bangalore, in, in the US, in, in the UK and moving to Goa to create a work from home atmosphere. Okay, so I'm preparing this video not just for them, but for all of you if you are considering moving to Goa. Okay, so um, let's start with the language, right? Uh, Goa is predominantly English and Konkani. Yes, Hindi is spoken, Marathi as well is spoken, but predominantly it's English and Konkani. Obviously, most of you don't know Konkani. English is good enough. Everybody speaks English, even the taxi, the waiters, everybody speaks English. Um, Again, I made this video because there's a huge exodus of good, classy, nice, intelligent people who are moving to Goa and I want to encourage you to move because Goa needs good people, okay? Um, Goa is a peaceful place. We have good internet, um, the utilities, the community, healthcare, schools, infrastructure and value for money. These are basically the parameters upon which I've made this video on, okay? So let's start with um, North or South. South Goa what are the areas? Benauli, Serauli, Kolba, Kansauli, these are the nicer areas. Uh, in North Goa it is a huge list which I'll post in the in the description. Moira, Nashnola, Aldona, Sukur, Salvador, Domun, Saligao, Sangolda, Bambulim, Santa Cruz, Goa Velia, Giri, Siolim, Porvorim, Donapala. These are the areas that I would suggest you to look for properties. And when I say properties, I mean apartments, um, uh, villas or land. What are the areas you should avoid? I think you should avoid Baga, Kalangut, Kandalim. Uh, I think if you have children uh, and you're looking at settling in Goa, avoid the Mama Belt, um, avoid Mapsa, uh, and I think for now, avoid Kadamba Plateau, just for now. Okay, and the reason I covered in my previous video was because of complete overdevelopment. Okay. If you have children, which are the best schools? Don Bosco, according to me, is one of the best schools, even though I studied in Sharda Mandir. Sharda Mandir, according to me, is one of the second best schools. I think a lot of what you learn is at home. It's from your parents. So the school really should teach you getting together with people, learning to interact and sports. For me, uh, sports is paramount because the the body that you live in is actually your, your only home so you have to look after your health and Don Bosco really puts a lot of emphasis in, in sports okay then you also have in terms of pre-primary school you have the RD school which is very good you have Shiksha Niketan which used to be run by Nisha Nisha was a fantastic teacher I studied uh, at Nisha school later it evolved into Shiksha Niketan after she, uh, after she took over now Nisha has passed away, but these are all in North Goa. Okay, what are the best colleges? Um, if you're, uh, you know, a standard person looking at a business or a science uh, commerce degree, uh, arts degree, then obviously it is uh, St. Xavier's, which is in Mopsa. The best hospital in Goa is Manipal in North Goa. How much money should you set aside for this entire move to Goa? According to me, if you're looking at an apartment, right, a 2 BHK, your budget should be in the range of 1.2 basic up to 3.5 crores. If it's a villa, you need to, at a three bedroom villa, start at 3.5, going up to 7.5, okay? That's the ballpark figures. Who are the best internet providers? Like I use a G-Wave. Uh, there's a guy called Merv Brito. He, he um, does a fantastic job. What he does is he, you just call them, they come, they check if the, the net is, the, they can pull the wires to your flat or to your house and they set it up in a matter of hours. Then you've got G-Wave, you've got DNA and you've got Infinite, Infinite, right? Roughly I pay about 1200 rupees a month and I stream my Netflix and whatever. Transport, see Goa, the taxis are ridiculously expensive. They're overpriced, so you need a car, okay? Um, if you want to do shopping, etc., there are the malls. Uh, Porvorim has a wonderful mall called Mall de Goa. Mapsa has no mall. It has a horrible, dirty market. But you can get everything you want over there. Panjim also has an equally dirty market, which you can get everything from. 
uh, but you have also Kakula Mall and you have a lot of grocery shops. You can swiggy things. Uh, you've got Maxim's, which is really a blessing. You've got Delfino Supermarket, again a blessing. But these guys are based uh, only in Porvorim. Uh, in Panjim, they do have outlets in South and they have in uh, Kambalim. Okay, so now, see I'm, guys, I'm just rushing through this because there's so much to cover. Okay, so according to me, who are the best developers? Of 2022, I'd say the best developer would be Isprava because of the fact that they delivered and they have great um, design and of course Aldea de Goa. Uh, the apartments, hands down, Aldea de Goa, low rise, low density, lots of facilities, amenities, capital appreciation, rental value, safety, security, these are my parameters. Okay. Now, when you move to Goa, what do you do for work? Let's assume one of the partners is working, one is not or both of you are not, what do you do for work? Look, if you're thinking you're going to get a job in Goa, it's out of the question. For some reason, Goan entrepreneurs pay peanuts to their staff. They don't want to pay. They make a lot of money, they don't want to pay. I don't know what it is, but jobs here are very poorly paying. That's why most Goans leave, they take their Portuguese passports and go abroad. Okay, so very low salaries. Business, of course you can do business, you can work from home, for, uh, you can also work with a national or an international MNC, etc. And you can work from home off the internet. You could open a cafe business, you could open a restaurant business, you could do fusions, you could, uh, maybe you're a gamer, you play poker in the casino, you know, all these options are, uh, are available. Um, many people ask me, oh, you know, what do we do when we are in Goa? There's no limit to what you can do. There's so much, you can go to the beach, cafes, visit the islands, you can learn a new skill, you can get yoga certification, you can go sailing, you can, there's the Kala Academy in Panjim and you can, where you can learn to sing Western or Indian classical music, um, you can learn art, you can learn bakery. So really there's a huge plethora of things that one can do. Um, water and electricity, we really don't have much, much issues for water and electricity unless you start moving to Kadamba Plateau which now is, will start developing these uh, issues. Uh, mark my words. Um, big question, is Goa safe? Answer, short answer is yes, if you behave well. No, if you misbehave. So let me give you an example. There was a guy, I won't get into his uh, name, but initials are JS. He got into a big argument. He, him and his family came to Goa for a holiday. They, um, he was one of those TikTok guys and he was making reels, very aggressive. He picked on a, a staff of a hotel uh, thinking that there would be no repercussions. I'm guessing in the rest of India, you can slap someone or someone, uh, you know, and attack a waiter or someone below you and they're too meek to respond. The problem with, or the unfortunately for him is that the goals are extremely united. So this guy goes, brings his friends and uh, really physically harms him with knives and so on and so forth and it goes really out of proportion and it became very very serious okay so you need to think very carefully you may have a lot of connections wherever you are but in goa those connections are useless because from the time you make that phone call it's going to take a long time and in that short span you could be attacked by the locals so be very careful if there is a confrontation just avoid it say sorry Whatever it is, avoid getting into any physical confrontation or verbal confrontation. Okay. Now, how do you avoid it? What are the things that peeve Goans off? Um, generally, it's things that are understood, basic civic sense. You know, loud music in residential areas, um, playing your, your speaker phone, or talking very loudly in a public space or an enclosed space. Uh, being rude to waiters, that's one of the main things that I've seen that causes, escalates issues where you, some people are very nasty to, to staff. Um, again, the other thing that I've noticed is rash driving, right? So I'm guessing people are a little bit drunk, they, alcohol is cheap, so they drive rashly, they cut, over, overtake on the left, and then that ends up in an argument. Now, you may be very powerful and strong physically and you may have a lot of contacts back in Delhi or wherever, but in Goa, you're a minority. So very quickly, even if it's a simple guy on a bike, within minutes, you'll have about 200 Goans who will support him. 
so be careful don't drive rashly drive within the uh, limits of of the law a lot of people make the mistake and think that what they see on in movies like bollywood etc is actual reality in goa so goa is not bollywood most people expect that that is real life actually it's completely different so i always suggest is whenever you get a service whenever you go to a restaurant make sure you tip do not give beggars money right every point in goa every traffic light you will see there's an exodus of beggars that are moving in from different parts of india and they are controlled they are a mafia so if you give them money you're going to encourage the habit of begging so avoid that what do you do to engage with the goan to live a better more cohesive harmonious life here be friendly but not over friendly avoid physical contact for some reason i don't know why but goans don't like it when you go to extra huggy shake a hand shake the hand say hi whatever after you develop a friendship then you can call them bro etc okay um as much as possible in the initial stages speak in english um get to know the goan and invest some time in building the relationship and a genuine friendship not for what they can do for you but to get to know them because you're moving here it's good to understand the culture the ethos of the place and there's no better way than getting a goan friend okay goans can be very very friendly very supportive very affectionate they will do a lot for you if they uh, see you as a friend network through the community because everything is good networking and the way to network is through sports music music and uh, and public events okay what is the situation of crime crime is very low and the police are extremely responsive okay um what are the places that one should go to if they want to get their hair their nails done if they want to get a massage i suggest going to snip snip is got its center in kalangut it's got in panjim it's got in podgori you can call them what are the best gyms norberts the marriott grand hyatt you can get memberships of about 50 60000 a year but really good gyms the big challenge again in goa is getting domestic help uh goa is a predominantly non veg culture and society so most of the staff here eat meat and they cook meat so you if you are vegetarian you'll find it difficult um so to summarize this entire video i say goa is generally a happier place the quality of life is much better than the rest of india maybe the rest of the world clean air good food good people um Christmas and New Year is a wonderful time to celebrate, particularly in South Goa. Um, I welcome you to Goa. I want to see good people come. I want to see beautiful buildings built. I want to see great businesses. I want to see good relationships. Uh, if you're uh, if you're single, there are lots of single people that are moving to Goa, so you can really meet someone of your dreams. You can build a life together here. um and create value not just for yourself for the people around you but even for goa at large so thank you for watching my videos i really appreciate it see you in goa